Hey fellow world winners, it's Angry Turtle and today I have quick video about a special topic thanks to the comment from Guru Sinch, as I was totally unaware about this stuff. Uh, you probably know that I hate missing on recipes and food buffs in the game, therefore I'm straight onto it. And first, we need to unlock a secret recipe. I mean, I already unlocked it, but I will show you how to unlock it. And for that thing, we need to kill OLED. And this OLED can be found only in one place on the map. It's in here, the deep. And you need to enter from the cave side because he lives on this side. And you probably already saw this guy usually dead inside this cave. And the problem is that I think it's kind of an Easter egg from Bethesda how to unlock it because this OLED will spawn in between two crickets. What's meant he will be killed almost instantly. And from my runs, I was able to kill him once before crickets get to him. As you can see, there are two body of the crickets and there is uh, Mr. Oled. I managed to kill him, but it's incredible, incredibly difficult to get him by yourself. As like in 10 tries, nine of those tries, crickets were able to get the Oled before I was able to get to him. Some tips that I was able to figure out, you either use explosive weapon, like for example, Gauss shotgun or other explosive weapons, or you can try with Tesla. As the thing is, you need to shoot really fast and hope on the hit before the cricket will one hit the OLED. And okay, I will show you from the side you enter, like you enter from this side and you run down and usually this little OLED will be somewhere behind this lamp. Behind this lamp, like I killed him in here, he can be in here, he can be a little bit closer to the lamp, he can be a little bit farther down the corridor. Uh, I think he's spawning somewhere in this area and he's running up, being chased and surrounded by critters and one critter is running down and other critter is a little bit lower here and OLED usually will die. But what you can do and what I will be doing now, uh, I will ask Mitzi for help. You can ask anyone for help. 10 minutes after you kill those critters and the OLED will die, you wait inside the cave and after 10 minutes, if someone new enters the cave, it can respawn this OLED. Then we'll try to do it now. And what I'm doing to increase my chances on, on the kill, I'm placing mines. One mine over here. It's actually a nuke mine, I know that's an overkill. And second mine over here. That should ensure a kill on the OLED when Mitzi will get in here and spawn him. Hopefully he will spawn and don't forget to crouch. Make sure you are hidden and you will not block the spawn yourself. Yes, I'm ready, get in. I'm in. They didn't spawn, probably too early. My many and three joy on me. Uh-oh. What's that? <laughs> Who did write the mine? Uh, just a side note, if someone enters the cave and leave the cave, the mines will detonate. I don't know why. I need to place a new one I was killed. Okay, Mitzi, let's try again. And you can see they spawn! And mine almost killed the crit. One more shot from the girls and here. Here is where Mr. Oled spawns. That's Oled and I have Oled meat and that's what you need. And actually it's look like this Oled and the critters are spawning about together in this spot. I'm not 100% sure if it's always in here, but uh, I tried three times and he was always spawning in here. Then maybe the other mine is not required. This one seems to be doing the job just fine. And that's the poor Oled. You, you think that you should save him, but it doesn't work. The crickets will always get him. You just need to kill him faster than crickets can. And after you pick up the meat from OLED, there's nothing on the screen, but the fact of picking up the meat, we unlock the recipe and I will show you it now. And now on the cooking station under category meat, you will find something new that wasn't there before. And you will find OLED nuggets. 
in case of my herbivore character it doesn't give any benefits but I will show you a screenshot that I made on my carnivore character. It's basically giving one intelligence base that can be boosted up to plus three intelligence with all the other perks. It's like nothing special. It's basically a collectible to unlock a plan. Without doing that, you are missing one recipe. And now two additional hidden food items that are in the game that I want to show you. And unfortunately you cannot craft them. Okay, the first food you can get from Yasmin. She's not always selling it. You need to just talk with her about cooking. Then you talk with her that you want to buy some recipes. And apart from the recipes, she's selling some really useful food. At this moment, there is no food we are looking for, but we can buy that. Luckily, I have it in my inventory that I can show you. And that's steep black blood leaf tea. And what's so special about it, it's giving poison resistance. It's 10 of the basic poison resistance boosted farther by the herbivore and can be boosted up to 25 if you will be on the team with other players that are mutated. I'm not in this moment, then I don't have this additional boost, but it will be up to 25 poison resist from this black blood leaf tea. Unfortunately, you cannot craft it. The only way to get it is to buy it from Yasmin. And I cannot stress enough how good poison resist is. Even 20 or 25 poison resist in power armor can replace a legendary perk that I'm using, Funky Dots, to increase poison resistance. And there is a second food item that can be obtained from the Communist Collection. I do not have Communist Collection here, but you can change what Collection is collecting. And at this moment, I have my Collection set up at Proletariat, Scavenge Proletariat. And this option allows you to get additional unique food items. It's very rare. It's a small chance to get it, but I will show you what it does. It's a cave fungus zoo. And surprise, surprise, it's again poison resist. And why I'm so excited about poison resistance from food, that's because there is no craftable food that can give you poison resistance. But if I use this collection to give me food with poison resistance, and if I will keep checking Yasmin, if she has a food with poison resistance, I will be able to eventually drop this funky Dutzberg. Even though it's 100 poison resistance and food is only 25 with all the boosts, then it's still enough. Like poison resistance, if you have 25, 100 or 200, the difference is not huge. But between zero poison resistance and 25 poison resistance, the difference is huge. Now I will eat some of this stuff as I didn't before. I'm curious if those food items can stack. I don't know that. I didn't want to use them before because I only have two. Then let's see, I use one. Let's go under effects. Now I have 20 poison resist. What happened if I use two? Okay, I'm using the second one. And oh, it does stack. It's plus 40 poison resist. Then yeah, this food stack. You can increase your poison resist as much as you want. And the black blood leaf tea lasts for one hour. Uh, let me see how long the cave fungus soup will last. Unfortunately, when I eat it, eat it now, it will most likely replace my poison resistance from other tea because it's a different food type with the same bonus. Then let's see, go under effects. Yeah, it replaces it and it's giving me 20 poison resistance. Although as it does stack, I can keep collecting and at some point I will be able to get rid of my funky dots and I will be using just a food buffs. I just need to have a constant source of food, otherwise it's pretty pointless. But if this collection plus my Yasmin vendor will, ke will keep giving me those food items, in enough quantity, I should be able to get rid of my legendary perks and use food instead when needed. Of course, in combination with 
good with salt as uh, this is necessary like without good with salt all those beautiful buffs will expire so quickly with this they will last for at least a week and that's what i wanted to share definitely please let me know if you know about this recipe or these food items or if you know about all of them or just one of them and if you are going on the quest to unlock your OLED nuggets. I don't know if you will use them, but are you going to unlock them to have all the recipes that are in the game unlocked? And now as always, thank you lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.